What's up, YouTube? Still or sideline? We're back with another video here. Kind of doing two things at once. Uh, got a special announcement to make at the end of this video, so make sure you stay to the end of the video to watch about that. You guys will love that one. And uh, just wanted to do some little odds and ends that I picked up at the little uh, flea markets and little uh, thrift store runs, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot, so we'll get into the other ones. So I'm just going to do something a little bit, you know, do the stuff that you guys, some of you will like to see it. A lot of you might not care to see it too much, but uh, just some different things that I've been collecting along the way. And then we'll jump right into that exciting news at the end for you guys. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well. But uh, first pickup, got this Dan Rooney book. This one is not signed, but just a Dan Rooney book here. Picked this up, I believe, for five bucks, which might have been a little expensive, but didn't have it at the time, so figured, why not? I'll pick this one up. Five bucks, Dan Rooney book. Um, and got the Chuck Noll book. That was a flea market find. This one was a thrift store find. Got the Chuck Noll book. And I paid one dollar for this one. This one isn't signed by any authors or anything. Uh, just regular book. But I did want to buy this when it came out. Never got around to it, so picked this up for a dollar. It can't not beat that price. And another find here from a place in the Uniontown Mall. Guy had this for sale. A lot of his like, prices were overpriced. I've only went there once. Twice, well, this is the second time I've been there. Uh, probably won't go back, but I did find one good thing. There, uh, this is Andy Russell book, and this one was autographed. Paid $10 for this with the Andy Russell autograph, so happy to add that to the collection. Wanted to get a couple more books. I got an idea to, for some of the shelving that I'm going to be uh, putting, like, full-size footballs and display cases on I'm gonna line it up with books uh, so we'll see how that goes so I wanted to get a couple of the signed books unsigned books just throw them in there and I think it'll look nice we'll see how that goes I'll show you that as we move along with the man cave construction well not the construction part but the you know pushing pacing it all together I still got a mess in here you'd think I'd be done by now but I've been uh, dragging my feet because that whole process kind of wore me out, moving all this stuff back in here. I kind of gave it a break for now. Still got to buy a bunch of display cases and stuff like that. A little overwhelming, so I've been dragging my feet. But we'll get to that. Signed Andy Russell book, 10 bucks. Then we got this eBay pickup. This is Dan Rooney. Bought this one for 17 bucks, I believe it was. And... This one is signed by Dan Rooney. So happy to add that to the collection. Anytime I could pick up a Dan Rooney autograph that cheap, I'm gonna definitely do it. Uh, so happy to add that. So the unsigned book, I might do a giveaway and give that away. If you guys are interested, let me know. Just something small. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that, if you'd be interested in that or not. Since I got two, I don't need two. I'm gonna keep the signed one. Maybe I'll give away the unsigned one. And the last pickup I'll do today, because I was getting ready to ship this one off, is this old Riddle helmet from like the 70s. Got this for, um, had a price tag on it for $8, bundled a few things together, guy gave it to me for, for five bucks with all the other stuff. Now the other stuff I don't have up here yet, I still left some of it in the back of the car. So I'll get to that later. The reason this is up here is I'm getting ready to send this out TTM to Andy Russell and uh, have him put some nice inscriptions on this, kind of lay this helmet out. It's a little rough, but I figure it'll look nice with Andy Russell on it. And I'm gonna try cleaning it up a little bit better, sending it out to him. He's getting ready to get a box for it. That's why it's up here. So I figured I'd just show this video before it goes out TTM, throw it on here. And that's all I got for you today with the pickup section. That is my thrift and uh, flea market pickups. Now we'll get into this. This is, and you guys are going to like this one. This is uh, 
uh, Marquise Pouncey. Uh, used gloves. They're not serted. They're definitely used. They're from the team, but no serve from the team because they're probably just practice use or training camp use. But we have hit one of the milestones I set out to hit, which is 500 subscribers. So I thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and keeping up with the channel. We've hit 500 subscribers. So I told you I'd give away something used giveaway. So we're doing Marquise Pouncey used gloves. Like I said, came straight from the team. They are used, most likely practice use, but these are the style he wears. You can check all the pictures. He wore these style for a very long time. Uh, so you will see the style worn a lot by him, especially in the practices and everything. Marquise Pound C gloves, giving away for you guys. So thank you for the 500 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that thousand here soon. I'll probably do another giveaway at 750 and then we'll do a thousand. So, uh, and there'll be big giveaways, not just a book. If I do the book, it's going to be a little giveaway. So maybe I'll do one in between there just to do a little giveaway for you guys. But uh, it'll be a bigger one. But uh, Marquise Pouncey Used Gloves Giveaway. Now, how can you guys get these gloves? Just by doing what you're doing out right now. First, you have to be subscribed to the channel. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you hit that subscription button. And make sure you ring that bell next to it to get your notifications. So you get notified of new giveaways and new videos. So we got these gloves. First, you gotta subscribe. Second, you gotta like the video. Give the video a thumbs up, give it a like. That's number two, like the video. Number three, drop a comment in the comment section below. That's the three things you gotta do, guys. You gotta be subscribed, you gotta like the video, and you gotta drop a comment, easy. And you guys can win some Marquise Pouncy gloves just for being cool and being subscribed to the channel and helping me out. I want to help you guys out as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck on whoever the winner is. This. Let me get into that as well. I'm going to let this run because I wanted to, uh, everybody to have a chance. I'm going to let this run to the end of the month. So March 1st, March 1st, I'll pick the winner. First day, March, I'll put a video up. The winner will be announced. Marquise Pouncy Gloves going out to somebody out there. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of that. Throw it in the comments below. Once again, go through the rules one more time. Got to be subscribed. Got to like the video. And got to leave a comment in the comment section. That's all you got to do to get these gloves. And I'll pick one winner. And we'll ship them out to you. March 1st, I'll announce that. But that's all I got for you today, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck to everybody on this giveaway. I hope you like that giveaway. Let me know if you want to see more giveaways coming up soon. Hopefully we hit that 750 mark soon and we'll have another giveaway. Hopefully that's the first of March. Soon we give these out and throw another one out. But that's all I got YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video, comment, and definitely subscribe for these gloves. Have a great one, Stilly Nation.